Part 17 of my Christmas Village 2021 full tutorial series. The project may give the impression to be almost complete, but in reality it is far from that. I still need to do an intensive work on the pavement of the ancient Greek park section, a couple of stairs to paint and complete, another stair here, then, then I lack absolutely all the fences all around the, the layout uh, and on the North Pole section. Impossible to add the fences, not correct, no need for fences on the North Pole section, but I need to delimitate somehow the borders. Uh, no uh, wood fences because there is no trees, no wood on the North Pole. Uh, maybe I will simulate some uh, snow. Uh, I was thinking but I haven't experimented on that to use some sand and then have some piles of sand then I will paint them um, plain white to simulate uh, snow and uh, some delimitation on the border of the North Pole section like that then uh, power cords <laughs> just some uh, market stands are uh, connected with uh, power cords and needed to uh, lay down all of them, then all the buildings are missing the uh, power cords so I needed to lay down more power cords and hide them and street lamps no street lamps at all positioned and they will need also some power cords to <laughs> use them so very big amount of uh, work still to do and this is already part 17 I generally tend to not go over part 2021, 20, uh, and I don't want to go over the first days of November, so between the fan, maximum 15th of November, I want to finish this project, and next week is Halloween, so I don't have much time to complete this, so it is better if I get to work right now you look so good in my sweater winter is my favorite weather because it brings you close and i need you close yeah wish we could stay here forever each day you keep getting better Yeah, we could be good 
Take me home. 
show You give me the green light Speeding like there ain't no stop sign My eyes set on the prize, yeah Damn, it feels good when you jump on it Scars on my chest like you own it You can have my last name if you want it If you want it, if you want it Dear girl, we don't even have to stop it Take you higher than a real rocket You can have my last name if you want it If you want it, if you want it, yeah Your body's out in motion you on my wall and pull you back down watch you slide down let me drink you in oh selfish lovers drink for free spin you around my glass and watch you fall down pull you back Damn, it feels good when you jump on it Scars on my chest like you own it You can have my last name if you want it If you want it, if you want it Dear girl, we don't even have to stop it Take you higher than a real rocket You can have my last name if you want it If you want it, if you want it Damn, it feels yeah. good Good, good Damn, it feels good, oh, 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 so good, so good, so but good. damn, it feels good when you jump on it, scars on my chest like you own it, you can have my last name if you want it, if you want it, if you want it, dear girl, we don't even have to stop it, take you higher than a real rocket, you can have my name if you want it if you want it if you want it but damn it feels good when you jump on it scars on my chest like you own it you can have my last name if you want it if you want it if you want it dear girl we don't even have to stop it take you higher than a real rocket you can have my last name if you want it if you want it if you want it
I can't avoid it. Final recap of part 17 of the 2021 series, and I'm gonna start from the fences. Uh, having simple straight fences, it is very hard to place them correctly along a round border, a circular border. And here I have two of them, one there and one here. So I had some difficulties trying to um, adjust them and avoid some hideous result. And I know those two spots there, one here on the right and one on the left, aren't very good looking. But just remember that I still needed to find the spots for my street lamps. So those two spots there are candidate for um, getting there some uh, street lamps. And this is the hardest part, as I told you, and I've started from there. Uh, placing those uh, straight fences along there, along the other um, border there, will be uh, very easy and I will have no problems at all. What else I did there? Yes, I know I haven't finished the ancient Greek park section, still have to paint the two stairs there, but I added the pavement. I printed uh, on paper, as always, uh, an ancient Greek uh, pavement pattern, and it is also a little aged, as uh, it should be, uh, and this will not be visible completely like that. Uh, I will cover it with my classic uh, snow. Uh, so I just wanted to have some spots visible uh, under the snow with this pattern there. And I've added uh, that, that. Then I fixed the, the uh, columns to the, um, to the printed uh, paper in order to avoid to have them constantly falling down. Uh, I still need to fix the status there, but it will come on a later time. Uh, what I also did in order to have my newest building. So, this building here, the grocery uh, wasn't there. Here I had the uh, class confectionery. Now, class confectionery is there, okay? And uh, I've moved around something and the uh, pharmacy, the apothecary was where the um, class confection uh, is now. And here I add the uh, Lucy chocolate and now Lucy chocolate is there. Okay, a little remix there. Why? Because I needed to find a correct spot for that monster there. For the Tannenbaum clock tower, this is the only spot available because this is 30 centimeters tall, as I said during my uh, uh, first unboxing and full review. And the color, this is lowly resin, not porcelain, and the building there is porcelain. So not... Mm, very different in reflection or uh, texture or patterns and everything else. Not a lighted building, but the clock is working. And that's the current time, guys. So it's half past 9 p.m. Sunday, 24th of October, 2021. And I'm still filming my final recap. Then what I did, uh, I um, uh, started hiding the power cords and you have seen me uh, making the groove there on the back for uh, placing the uh, cords. I didn't want to have the cords going this way, uh, passing uh, through the stairs. So I've divided the cords uh, from this side on and then the remaining ones, starting from the French bakery towards the right, will go the other way. 
so I masked uh, all the cords from uh, the Christmas ornaments uh, stand there and Boisson Chaud, Boulangerie, then Nutcracker and Christmas, Nora's Christmas Boutique all have been uh, connected to the power cords. All the buildings have been connected to the power cords and the power cords masked. And still here are visible the power cords down there but once I will um, spread the snow, they will disappear. And here too, I added the uh, power cord here to the pharmacy and then there. Where they go? They go right there from this hole here, exception for the those buildings here for glass confectionery and uh, else view in still need to add the power cord here and there but these will be outside of the, the outside of the layout so no problem at all and yes it's starting to I, i'm starting to have some sorry the camera is not getting on focus right now yes i start to have some mess concerning the power cords but every and single one of the power cords have those little mm, uh, um, mm, tags there okay and with voltage also with voltage yes this is three volts and, and this is the uh, one of the mm, stands that are uh, behind the um, the ancient greek bark section and oh, let me bring another one there uh, maybe this one is from a building oops sorry guys yes this is from ills view uh, in and 4.5 volts so every single one of them i will have to um, fix them somehow there and i will go and down there also i have some other cords from where you i haven't filmed it but those are the cords from uh one two three and four uh, buildings so the um, the most difficult to reach and also from the uh, mountain view lodge there those were the uh, hardest building to reach so i worked swearing all the time and i've added also the power cords but mm, those buildings are now connected those are peripheral buildings so no problems at all um, um, finding some place to hide the power cords then i've also completed the um, pa rock paper for the slope there and also all along the uh, level here of the new um, uh, of the um, future uh, um, houses uh, um, part there sorry uh, <laughs> I'm searching words that are they are not coming so I've added also the rock paper along the uh, final uh, level there concerning the um future houses okay then what took me very 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 long time to finish is the snow there and i don't know if you can get it but uh, adding uh, the final touch of the gloss here uh, gave that uh, uh, snow uh, look uh, because uh, uh, snow reflect lights because the, it is ice in some ways so what i did there and you have seen me doing it so uh sand then i've used my mix of uh, water and pvc glue to fix all of it then i've painted three times i painted with three layers the uh, sand there and now it is hard and yes it is hard and this is how i wanted to add some kind of uh, natural fences all around the north pole section and i hope right now uh, i don't know if it reflects correctly uh, the light uh, if the gloss will reflect correctly the light but i hope yes especially 
here in this section here. So why three layers of, uh, um, of uh, uh, painting? Simply because this is a sand, it is not a hard surface. So the mix of uh, water and um, white uh, paint uh, tend to uh, go inside the piles of sand. But I've fixed it there in somehow not the perfect result as always, but hey, it's to you to judge if uh, it is acceptable or not. And I think that once I will complete this with the reindeers and uh, little uh, Santa helpers and everything else, I could have a good after. Still need to add some moss here, I think, here and there. But those are final touch and nothing else. Uh, and also Santa's swing is connected to the power cord. I, I need to make the power cords for um, the Klaus Cottage and the uh, uh, Elf uh, Workshop right there. And that's all I think, guys. Yes, uh, time consuming there, working on the snow there. It took me six hours, I think, totally, because I needed to wait each time for the sand to dry out. So 12, uh, six hours, sorry, just for the snow there completed. And also, I don't know if you can see, but uh, the biggest... Uh, a pile of snow is there on the back. Yes. Uh, I was wondering how will I add some night lights to the North Pole section? I need to find a way because I can't clearly put some street lamps on a North Pole. Maybe I will get some lights up there in the corners like there. Okay, maybe some LED street lights. I don't know yet. I still need to think about it. And so uh, it is proceeding. Yes, uh, still need to do some work, but I think I will be able to complete this with part 20 or 21. Let's hope by part 20. I will try to work as hard as I can next uh, week. Uh, and that's all, guys. See you for my outro. <laughs> yes, I went completely freestyle for the snow on top of the pole section. And it took me an exaggerated amount of time. Sorry for that. So I'm a little behind with what I, want. I promised you to do. Uh, due for this part 17, my bad. But I also forgot you to tell what I've used in order to paint the uh, snow. I used the, for the first time this little powder here. This is a very thin powder and this is titanium oxide. It is pure white and I've mixed it with some water, not too much water. I think 80% powder and 20% um, water in order to have a perfect white, bright white on top of the snow with the acrylic color and you know that I haven't it right now with me but you know that I simply use acrylic colors but in this case uh, it was very difficult to get a decent result with just a simple acrylic colors because as I just stated, this is not a pure hard surface. <laughs> the uh, colors, the mix of water and colors uh, tend to get through the um, sand grains and so uh, impossible to have a decent result, not with the brush, not with the atomizer, nothing. So I went with uh, a uh, mix of water and uh, this powder, titanium oxide powder on uh, uh, plastic glass. Then I used my uh, largest uh, uh, brush possible to paint three layers. And that's the result, guys. Hope, uh, hope to get something more for you for part 18, but this is the end of part 17. 
please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish, see you next time.